Hello, my name's Jason Kennedy and I'm with the EAR. Today I'm joined by Trevor Butler. Hello. And we're going to talk about the Gold Note IS-10, which is an all-in-one DAC streamer. It is an all-in-one all audio solution, really, that so much can be packed into just a half-width box. Um, is, is, is quite incredible. It's an integrated streaming amplifier marketed by Gold Note as an all-in-one and uh, it'll, it'll do almost everything you need, this and a pair of loudspeakers, and, and there is a home audio system. Right, and is it, how much power do you get out of a box this size? So it's 90 watts a channel into 8 ohms. There's a very clever and easy upgrade option though to actually bridge it, to make it into a mono block, um, to wow. power one channel, and then you put the matching box of their power amplifier alongside it, and then you get incredible power output right. of you know, over 200 um, watts a channel if you need to. That's an easy upgrade. Yeah, yeah. I didn't find that necessary. I think it's got oodles of power to drive yeah. all the loudspeakers that I connected to it. Which, which speakers did you try with it? So I tried my Revival stand mounts, my Atlante 3s, and uh, we tried the uh, new Morels oh, yeah, the, floor standards. Uh, the Era 633, an interesting loudspeaker which hopefully we'll be telling you more about in future. Fascinating. And yeah. they both performed uh, really well. Big sound, lots of dynamics. At home, I thought that sonically they were really all about the bass and mid-range. Very clear, clean, crisp mid-range. Um, I got a tight punching bass in my acoustic at home. Um, and yeah, impressive that so much sound can come from such a small box. Sure. And what about ease of use because this is a sort of app driven product isn't it is it is it easy to use it is it comes with a gold note uh, remote which uh, will operate the whole gold note system mm -hmm. because gold note make everything you need from stylus to loudspeaker good point so if you've got a whole gold note system the whole thing can be operated on the nice remote it's a really solid remote it's not one of those horrible flimsy yeah, ones. yeah, yeah. it's really well made but there's also the gold note app the app's essential for accessing internet radio and the streaming services, but really simple to use. Good, good. But you, you were saying about the remote that it only, only two buttons actually do anything on the remote. Well, because the remote is intended to operate a whole gold note system, yeah. um, only a few of the functions actually are intended to control the streaming amplifier. Right, right. Because, I mean, ostensibly this is a whole system isn't it, this amplifier, it's like an amplifier, a streamer, a DAC, etc. So you shouldn't need anything else. So it seems a bit odd that the remote doesn't do a bit more. I mean, what is it, it does volume and it does play and pause, is that what you were saying? That's what I found. Yeah, yeah, it does seem slightly odd. But I mean, the app nice. does everything. I mean, the app does everything. That's good. But if you haven't got an app, then I suppose this is a fallback. Yeah, um, yeah. If you haven't got other... Um, it's it's easy, no easy to control volume, I imagine, with that. Yes, yeah. I mean, there's the one control knob on the front, which is multi-purpose. So that is volume as well, is it? And depending upon yeah, okay, yeah. how long you press it and which way you turn it and how long you hold it in, it does different things. You can change the source and you can change it okay. um, to mono Good. and stereo and indeed also the volume, yes. So, presumably, given that it's got all this power on this tiny box, it's is it a Class D? It is. It's a Class A preamp stage, and then the output stages are Class D. Okay. I have to say, I think one of the better Class D implementations that I've heard. I'm sure we all know out there there are some that are pretty ropey, quite rough. Quite brittle um, sometimes. Yeah, brittle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, really quite coarse. This actually, I think, is really refined. Um, Gold Note have gone to a lot of trouble um, to look at both the damping factor and the current, okay. and that's continuously variable depending upon the load you connect. Right, and, right. And that really seems to actually make Class D Work, more yeah, than acceptable yeah. here. And you were saying it's not, unlike an awful lot of these products, it's not made in China, which is extraordinary, really. No, I should say that, that I saw the prototypes of these being made at the Gold Note factory just outside Florence. And the whole company is really of the ethos that everything should be sourced and manufactured locally, mm. such even that the company cars are only of Italian brands, uh, that they won't buy anything other than Italian. The casework is made close to the factory, they make their own circuit boards, 
and they source as many of the components um, within the country as they possibly can. Impressive. It's all hand assembled yeah, yeah. on their own very efficient production line. Right, right, yeah, got you. And what about inputs and, you know, what about connecting things that aren't on board already? So one thing that perhaps might be strange, given Gold Note's um, manufacture of styluses and tone arms and turntables, is that there's no phono stage, but they wanted to keep that out of the box. They do a cosmetically matching uh, phono right, stage right. range, actually. Yeah. Um, so they've got two analogue inputs, two uh, optical and one coaxial digital input. Good. Plus all the streaming abilities. Mm. There's Wi-Fi and Ethernet connection. Right. And for anyone who's very anti-Wi-Fi and thinks it's going mm. to corrupt the sound, as soon as you plug in the Ethernet, the Wi-Fi circuitry is disabled. Oh, that's quite nice, it is. isn't it? Because, yeah, I mean, Wi-Fi can bring in a lot yes. of noise to any component. So if you're not using it, it is best to remove aerials, etc., and, and you know, yes. minimise the impact it has. But you can yeah. take it take it to a party where somebody hasn't got wired Ethernet, connect to their Wi-Fi and, you know, provide party music. Well, I think a lot of people don't have wired Ethernet even in their right. living rooms these yes. days. You know, it's, it's a very popular approach. And you were, you were talking about the headphone app. output's quite good. Impressively well. so, actually. I almost just tried it just as the final thought and actually listened for hours. It's got um, two phono amplifiers, one for low impedance connection and one for high impedance. I tried both and even with very high impedance for uh, killer ohm uh, headphones, <clears throat> the sound quality is, is remarkable. Really? Yeah, that is unusual in a product at this sort of price point. What's it's not right? just an afterthought. No, clearly. A lot, clearly. Of, a lot of attention's obviously gone into to the headphone amplifier stage. That's, nice. that's, that's yeah, obvious. Yeah. yeah. And what what is the price point? Now? That's the you know the critical so, question. Yeah, it? at launch it's just shy of three thousand pounds. Wow! And right. it's available in a stunning matte gold, oh, or okay. a matte white, okay. or the matte black. Got you. So it's anodized finishes. Presumably. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Just sure. What's just shy of three thousand pounds? Is that two nine 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 or two eight fifty two eight nine five? You, okay. You'll so see it's it. A hundred quid less. Than, yes. Right. Yes. Right. Got you. Nice. A lot for the money, a, a yeah. box absolutely bursting with electronics mm. and because there's so much in there, circuits, power supplies, it runs a little hotter than you might expect of a, of a Class D sure. uh, product, so a little bit of ventilation, it's got plenty of vent. Yeah, yeah, it's quite nice, don't, that, don't, isn't it? I, I wouldn't, like that, I wouldn't yeah. box it in, a little, no, bit of, no. little bit of air circulation. And, sure. um, and do you, is the sound quality good enough to warrant that price? I mean, that is the key question, isn't it? So, yeah, I tried it with uh, loudspeakers around the same price point and they seem to be a really good match. Um, it's, it's a very uh, dynamic, punchy, lively, involving sound. There's a slight warmth to it. Yeah. I, think that, I think the detail is, is, is particularly good. I was right. struck by that. Right. And the involvement and... Yeah, the so you way think the, it's good the, value. I do. The sound, the sound stage is projected out. It's a yeah. huge sound from a from a tiny chassis. Impressive, right? Okay. Well, if you'd like to find out more, Trevor will be writing a full review on the ear, and I'll put a link in below. Thank you.